you don't need a trinocular microscope. All right, they're great. They're fun, but they're really, really expensive. And in my opinion, most jewelers that aren't looking to teach will get away just as well with a camera set up like this. Now I use this setup to show what my hands are doing in my online courses, but I think for most jewelers who are just looking to show a little bit of behind the scenes footage, they'd be just as well off with a setup like this. Because for one, they save a bunch of money by not needing the expensive Rhino microscopes. But for another, because it's not zoomed in as much, people who are looking to buy the jewelry will have a much better idea of what's happening by being able to see the fingers there and what you're manipulating and how you're doing things because the average person just really does not understand what's going on at that ultra macro level. So I got this from Ram Mount it's just a little suction sticky cup with a couple little assemblies so you can kind of toggle this around and you can either use your iPhone or just get yourself a camcorder like this. Make sure you get the one with the threads on the front so that you can screw on the close focus lens. You're away to the races for, you know, four or five hundred bucks on top of your scope costs rather than five grand. <laughs>